Belgorod is currently the largest submarine in the world, and it was manufactured in Russia. This submarine was explicitly designed to carry out Russian special operations and was commissioned in July of 2022 during the conflict with Ukraine. The massive submarine was last photographed in the Barents Sea on September 27, 2022, and has never been sighted since. Its mysterious disappearance was immediately linked to two pipeline incidents that occurred shortly after in the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines. Moreover, rumors began to circulate on the internet that the K-329 Belgorod may be carrying a new type of nuclear device, capable of causing radioactive ocean swells that could instantly render entire cities uninhabitable. And the lack of any confirmed new sightings of the vessel has only added to the unease. Oscar II class submarine. As of 2022, Russia has the largest submarine fleet in the world, with over 74 active units operating across the world's oceans. The US Navy sits behind with 68 units, while the Republic of China takes third place with over 66 active submarines, according to statistics published by the Department of Defense and the Pentagon. The K-329 Belgorod is a variation of the Russian Oscar II-class submarine tailored for special operations. She has a tonnage of around 30,000 tons and is over 178 meters long and slightly more than 15 meters wide. As the largest submarine in the world, the only other submarine class that can match her colossal size is the Soviet-era Typhoon, of which only one remains in service in the Russian naval forces. Belgorod was commissioned just a few months after the Russian special operation in Ukraine kicked off in February of 2022, and is part of Russia's main directorate of deep sea research, a specialized force also known by the acronym GUGI. The submarine has a complement of 110 submariners, carries six cutting-edge Poseidon drones, and can also serve as the mothership for smaller submersibles, such as single nuclear-powered mini-submarines employed for deep sea missions. With the incorporation of the submarine into Russia's fleet, President Vladimir Putin was sending a clear message of deterrence to the West. In his article, Is the Belgorod Missing? Demystifying Russia's Submarine Activity, Gonzalo Vasquez Obaiseta from Global Affairs stated that Belgorod's, quote, incorporation to Russia's submarine fleet comes at a time of war in Ukraine and of an important military buildup in the Arctic region. Through it, the Russian military is revitalizing its once abandoned Soviet era bases, which are being modernized to host the latest warfare and technology. Missing. Between September and October of 2022, the Russian submarine K 329 Belgorod gained worldwide attention after she was sighted operating in the Barents Sea. Photos published by H.I. Sutton, a specialist in Russian submarines and a USNI news contributor, showed the world's largest submarine surfacing near the cold waters of the Kola Peninsula. Several days after the images appeared on social media, the Italian newspaper La Repubblica reported that several NATO officials had already warned Allied nations that the Russian submarine had traveled to the Kara Sea to test new military equipment. However, after being spotted in September, K-329 Belgorod disappeared from view and from the intelligence community. As USNI News approached the Pentagon for information on Belgorod's movements, a defense official downplayed the Russian submarine's latest operations. His reply implied that Belgorod may have been testing new weapons or routinely checking her systems. However, others believed Belgorod wanted to be seen as a show of force of Russia's nuclear capabilities or her involvement in the leaks in the Nord Stream gas pipes under the Baltic Sea on September 26th. The suggestion of Belgorod's participation in the incident reached new heights in early October after she was not spotted again. Although experts concluded that Belgorod could not have conducted such an attack, as she was last seen in the Barents Sea on September 27th before the attack, her last sighting led to further rumors of a possible nuclear attack, especially given Putin's warnings of employing nuclear weapons. Despite the rumors surrounding the 100 megaton missile supposedly carried by the Belgorod, intelligence officials have concluded that her arsenal only has a 2 megaton capability. Moreover, several analysts have researched the true capabilities of the submarine's nuclear arsenal and have concluded that the claims of post apocalyptic nuclear destruction are baseless. To further demystify the rumors of Belgorod's disappearance, 
Military experts have pointed out that it might be due to a general misunderstanding of how Russian submarines operate. Like the United States Navy, the Russian naval forces have a global military presence beyond their coasts. Consequently, it should not be surprising to see Russian submarines wandering in distant regions such as the coasts of India, Africa, the Atlantic, and especially the Arctic. Poseidon Nuclear Weapon The Northern Fleet is Russia's most important fleet because it's home to the country's nuclear sea forces. Located in the Arctic, this base is close to American and NATO territory and has been closely monitored by NATO forces, especially after tensions rose between Putin and other Western leaders following the recent special operation in Ukraine. In 2021, a Boré-class submarine hid behind the Arctic ice cap for over two months, causing NATO to grow concerned about more Russian submarine activity in the region. However, the most alarming concern regarding the fate and classified operations of Belgorod is her use of the Poseidon nuclear weapons. On January 16, 2023, Russian agency TASS announced that the armed forces had procured the first set of Poseidon nuclear-capable super torpedoes made specifically for Belgorod. No official date was given, and the Russian media outlet simply claimed that the submarine would receive them shortly. Russian and American sources confirmed that these powerful retaliatory weapons could trigger radioactive ocean swells, rendering cities uninhabitable. Also known by its codename, Status 6, the Poseidon is one of the six strategic weapons announced by President Putin in March of 2018. Although there is little public information available on the actual capacity of the Poseidon, the Russian Defense Ministry has published videos and pictures of the torpedo-shaped robotic mini-submarine. The weapon is almost 79 feet long and has a diameter of almost 7 feet. According to leaked images, the warhead carried by Poseidon is over 13 feet long and has a diameter of 4 feet. The Poseidon appears to be a cross between a drone and a torpedo, with unofficial sources estimating that it can travel at speeds beyond 114 miles per hour, has a range of almost 6,200 miles, and can reach a maximum depth of 3,300 feet. There are also rumors of a possible stealth mode similar to that employed by current submarines, allowing the Poseidon to remain undetected when operating in hostile waters. As Putin put it, quote, they are very low noise, have high maneuverability, and are practically indestructible for the enemy. There is no weapon that can counter them in the world today. The U.S. Naval Institute has expressed concern about Russia's pursuit to expand and diversify its nuclear capabilities during the past years, even more so as the Poseidon has not been covered by any nuclear arms treaties. Thank you for watching my video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more exciting historical content, please consider liking and subscribing to our Dark Documentaries channels. Also, hitting the bell icon will ensure you never miss out on our newest videos, which we publish regularly. We look forward to bringing you more thrilling documentaries in the future. So stay tuned.